Hi, I'm Becky Nunn with Nunn Design. In this segment, we will be using our line of Patera jewelry findings, our transfer sheets, and our gel de soleil UV resin. Mary Lynn Maloney, artist, author, and instructor, will be demonstrating how to make beautiful pieces such as these. Hi, I'm going to show you a project with the Patera oval pendant where we're going to use the image transfer sheets and then cover them with a great UV resin to give them a very high domed glossy finish. I'm, I'm using the Patera image transfers and they come in four different uh, sheets, four different categories. We have bathing beauties that have mermaids and uh, old time vintage ladies in bathing costumes. We have the collage birds and, and butterflies. We've got the Paris transfers and we have the nature transfers. And I've chosen the uh, bathing beauties today. And I've chosen this particular image with some mermaids in it. Now the Patera findings are all metal. The transfer sheets are transparent. So what I'm going to do is a fun little technique where I'm putting paint on the metal itself and then when the transfer goes on top of it, that color will come through and it looks really great. So I'm starting off, because my um, image has the fleshy, peachy tones of the mermaid skin and the blue of the water, I'm going to just accentuate that by painting some more blue onto the metal. And this is just acrylic paint that has a pearlescent quality to it. And then I'm going to add some peachy tones. I just clean my brush between each application just in water. And then I'm going to put in a little pearly white. And I'm going to just let that dry. So then I'm going to punch out my image. And I've got a great little oval punch. Fits the sheets perfectly and it fits the patera pendants perfectly. So you can't go wrong. The best way to do the punching is to flip your punch over like that so you can see the opening. And I've cut down my transfer sheet so that I can fit it real easily into the punch. So I'm going to slide it in and I can look right down on the oval and see that I've got it perfectly and just punch. I remove that and then I have my transfer. This is going to go in a little um, glass dish of water, just room temperature water. The transfer sheet has a filmy top part and a paper back part. So when you put it in the water, you just leave it sit about a minute or so. And when you look in to the water, you'll see that the paper will curl up and it might do weird things. It might look like a potato chip. It's just the film coming away from the paper. So it should be ready. Simply take it out of the water. And I do recommend having a paper towel handy where you can just dab off any excess water that's on the paper. You pick up your painted patera and you just slide the image transfer right off of the backing paper and just discard the backing paper. You set down your image, your filled patera, and take your paper towel and just press down right over the image. What you're doing is forcing out any air bubbles or excess water that's under there. Don't rub it really hard because the film is delicate. You just have to come right down on top of it and pull your paper towel right back up. Okay, so you get that nice and dry. And set aside your paper towel. And then you're going to want to seal your image. This part's really, really important. You can use a gel medium, you can use decoupage medium, um, anything that will seal the image because the final step we're going to do with the domed resin over it, um, you're going to want whatever you've put in the metal to be just sandwiched in there with a good sealer. 
and I've got just a sealer that, that works well for me in this little cup right here. And I simply paint it right on. Just a good thin coat and push the sealer right up to the edges of the metal so it's touching the walls of the pendant. And you just set it down and let it dry. It takes a few minutes. Make sure it's really, really dry um, before you go on to the next step. Once it's dry and you're ready to put on a glossy coat, you've got a lot of choices. You can use varnish, you can use um, gel medium, you can use this great diamond glaze, just a thin coat of that over your pendant gives it a really nice glossy finish. You can use DG3, which gives it a little bit thicker finish. And what I'm going to use today is the Gel de Soleil, which is a UV resin, and it's great because it's just a one product resin. You don't have to do any mixing, no measuring, no watching the clock to see that you've got the hardener and the catalyst going. It's just great, just one part. And I take my dried Patera and I simply drop the Gel de Soleil carefully over my image. And then I'm real careful to hold it and watch it and let the liquid just roll around so it touches the walls of the pendant. This is like honey, the consistency of honey, so it moves around really slowly and kind of finds its own level. And it covers the image really, really well. Just make sure you've got it covered all the way around. When I'm happy with the coverage, this has to be um, cured in a UV light. So it takes about 15 minutes to cure it, which is great because most resins take about two days. And I have a UV light right here. It's plugged in. This goes directly onto the shelf of the UV light. And I just push it in there and leave it alone for about 20 minutes or so. And when it comes out, it's hardened, it's glossy, and it's beautiful. And I finished off the piece with the Nundesign chains, connectors, and findings.